All right, so I've read a couple of forums saying that you you can't bypass the Windows login screen with the new 24H2. Uh, I'm actually, we're going to try this out in this video here. I'm going to go ahead and, and download the 24H2 and make me a bootable drive. I am using the newest Rufus, which is 4.5.2180. And again, you know, download the ISO from Windows. I'll leave links to, you know, where you can, where you can download it if you're new to this. Um, for Rufus and for Windows. But no, again, I, we want to see if we can bypass the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and speed warp it from here. Alright, so we got it all done. It made the bootable drive. So everything's here. Um, go ahead and I'm going to switch over to a different camera and show the install on the computer from the other camera. Again, here it is. It's all bootable drive, 100% bootable. So uh, I didn't have no problems in this step. So let's see if we have any any problems in the step when we get to Windows. All right. So we're greeted with this screen here. Uh, it is a little different looking. Uh, you just go through your normal normal progresses right here, and then. After I get it all installed, um, we're going to get into the next step, which is, you know, if it's going to make us put in a, um, a user, a micro, Microsoft user account name. All right, moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and try to log in, see what happens. Go to the little setup, choose your keyboard, your region. Do stuff like that right there. But now, uh, if you like content like this and you like honest reviews, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Thomas with Tomology. It's my way of thinking. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uncheck all these real quick. These are all the privacy. I don't want none of this being out there. I think they should all be unchecked, and we should check what we want. And look at there. So I, it's 100%. It didn't ask me for a Microsoft account. It didn't ask for nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install, I'm going to make me just a straight ISO and I'm going to install it onto a laptop and see if it actually uh, gives uh, the same thing. Look at this. It's asking me again for the same thing. That's crazy. That's asking for the same thing. And there we are. We are greeted onto the screen. But anyways, what I was saying, I was gonna make an, I'm gonna make an ISO file and uh, try to install it on my laptop and see if uh, this bypasses, or if you can bypass it that way, or what Windows asks for that way. So again, get rid of these USB drives on here. The bar down here at the bottom, the taskbar is a lot thicker than normal. So let's go in here and so I can show y'all that it is 24H2. Come on in here, and there we go. Look at that. 24 Windows 11 Pro 24H2, same system that I started with. 10/4/2024, uh, uh, depending on when you're watching this. But yeah, let me go. Uh, I'm gonna just put the ISO on a regular laptop and see what happens. All right, so I got my Dell hooked up. I got the ISO straight from uh, Microsoft. And let's go ahead and try to install it here. Select your language. I was trying to see. So right now, it, they don't let you take out your region for the bloatware. So I wonder if that's why it is two gigs less of a file. So I haven't found where you can change your re your uh, region. So I click on next. Getting a few things ready. And wait for it. Get ready. This PC does not currently meet the Windows 11 requirements, but yet I have Windows 11 on this computer, which is insane. Oh, wow. So like I said, I mean, Rufus works. Rufus is there. So anyone that says that it's not working, this right here, you know, it shows you that it does. I'm Thomas with Tomology. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.